August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Others. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. No! Private Jacob. I know who you are. There's an evacuation point on the other side of town. You need to get there.
Fighter scouts ahead. Keep that gun ready. Or sneak past them if you don't want to engage. there. Hello? Patrick, come over here. We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the Resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So, it's just you then? This way! I thought Pasadena was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here! Terminators! Get down! Get down! Aaron said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Aaron, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn us, but we didn't... We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave, now! No! Just let me think. Jennifer, thank God you're here. Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here. And you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call.
I'll search for other survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero. Is anyone here? Nothing. in here who's there I've come to get you there's an evacuation point not far from here you need to get there fast no I'm not leaving have you seen what's out there that that giant spider it's going to get us you have to destroy it I already took care of it it's safe now oh thank God thank you I don't see anyone else. I'm heading your way. See them. We're almost there. Come on, let's clear the path. Yeehaw! This reminds me of a good old duck hunt in the swamp. I might 
ammo! More of them coming! Jennifer, what's the holdup? Tin cans coming! Jennifer! Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin? Well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. I've been patient with you for the sake of this group. But you had one job today and you dropped the fucking ball. I don't have to listen to this shit. Sure, walk away, asshole. All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? What do you want? I'm so glad you asked. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. 
I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will ya? This might come in handy. Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. Hey, thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? They were stationed just outside of town since I can remember. But they moved not that long ago. We tried to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently we were wrong. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. Look, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. Seems the repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. Better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority. But if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. Sorry for panicking before. It's just that... Why do they always have to look like spiders? Can I help you? What was that with Colin? He was supposed to take care of a package back in Pasadena. Relying on him cost me my antibiotics, my pills, and possibly that man's life. But there's nothing we can do about it now. What do you think about Ryan? Ryan? I heard him fumbling through that speech back in the bus. You have to excuse him. Usually Jennifer's father welcomed the new arrivals. I guess Ryan thinks he has a new role in this group. 
If that's the case, then we should all be worried. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> 